Hey guys, we are really, really close to the start of exam season, so here are a few key things you should remember in every exam. So, the first thing you need to remember is your spelling of scientific words. Now, this isn't true for every single word, but there is a big difference between meiosis and mitosis, but only one letter in the spelling. The same with alkane and alkene, but again, only one letter in the spelling. And spelling those wrong will lose you marks, because the examiner will think that you don't know what you're talking about. You have to remember to show you're working, because if you make a tiny mistake somewhere early up in the question and then you get the answer wrong if you show you're working the examiner can still give you some of the marks so please 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 show you're working next thing you need to remember are your units please write down your units i beg my classes to do this all the time there are always a few people that miss it out learn your units write down your units this is worth a whole separate mark on a physics exam just for writing down sometimes just one letter. You need to read the questions really carefully. If they ask you to give an answer to a certain number of significant figures, give it to a certain number of significant figures. If they ask you to give your answer in standard form, then give your answer in standard form. Do what the examiners want. Do what the examiners are looking for. Because if you don't do that, then you won't be getting all of the marks. When you're reading a paper, highlight the keywords, highlight the key information, work out what the command words mean. This is really, really important because this is the examiner telling you what they're looking for, telling you what they want to mark, telling you what they want you to write. So don't ignore what the examiner is asking for. Tell them what they want to hear and that's what you'll do to get the marks. Please don't miss any of the questions out. Even if you're not sure what the answer is, have a go, write it down. I hate seeing papers where there's blank spaces all over the place because it's just so demoralizing. Please try and write something down. You never know, you might be right. You might get that one extra mark that pushes you up over the grade boundary. And finally, I'm begging you, please, answer the question that is asked. Sometimes students write really, really long, really, really complicated answers that get no marks because they haven't answered the question that the examiners have asked. They might have written something about cracking when it asks for something about fractional distillation. They might have written a really long um, piece about fossils when it's asking about speciation. There are loads of different tiny mistakes you can make here, but please, please, please answer the question that has been asked. We are so, so close to the end here. In a month, six weeks time, this will all be over. I know how hard you guys have been working. I've been working just as hard as well. And I'm gonna be here with you right until the end. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm here for you. Good luck, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video request or to deal with the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.